Today is a day where I am just out and about running errands. Um, got my nails done. I love them. I need to put some lotion on. Oh my. But got my nails done. Oh yeah, Ashy. Let's get some lotion on these things. I uh, wanted to do something different than a white French manicure. Um, <coughs> And you know I love my black, so I just like, you know what, let's just do black. I'm gonna go back and do the same thing next time with more of a burgundy color, something like that, wine color. That's what I'm gonna do for the holidays. But right now, this is my nail look, and it's gonna last me for one whole month. Um, this is my second time using the Gel X, and it lasts for over a month, to be honest with you, just slightly over a month. It was time to get done again, and, um, decided to go get it done today uh, I did the French because if it's a color as soon as it starts to grow out in here you'll see that okay you, okay that truck just ran the light sorry you'll see you need your nails done but with this you can't really tell you know but no one should be looking at your nails like that and with that being said so that's why I did the French um, it'll last longer you pay a lot for these nails so I want to get my money's worth and and on top of that you spend time in there like my appointment was 1145 I got seen at 1145 1150 the latest and I'm just getting out of there so what what time is it 240 oh my god mm. that's 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 a lot <laughs> oh my I was 11.40 to 2.40. I don't believe I was in there that long. It only, it said the appointment would have been only an hour and 45 minutes. And yeah, and that's another thing. My time, I do not have time to be in a nail salon, hair salon. Um, yeah, like that. Mm -mm, not often. Uh -uh. So once a month is good for me. And um, I wanted to get my toenails done. But once again, I was like, that would be extra time. I probably wouldn't get out that place till like five o'clock if I got my toenails done. I wanted my eyebrows done, but I'm gonna split that up and I'm gonna do that stuff tomorrow. Um, I'll just go out early, get my toenails done, get my eyebrows waxed, and um, I'll wash and do my hair at home. Because, um, like I said, I just don't like spending time doing that stuff. Yeah. That's why I like press-on nails, but these not press-on nails, but press-on nails take no time. <laughs> but they don't stay on that long. And honestly, the press-on nails, they weaken my nails. I thought it would help, but my nails get weak when I do the press-on nails. And I realized from using the Gel X, this, um, this has not weakened my nails at all. This is, like I said, the second time when she took it off, my nails were strong, um, no issues. And my nails grew, actually. Um, I had her cut them down some. Some of them grew longer than the others. You know, they weren't even, but I had to cut them down. And um, I should have had to cut them all down, to be honest with you, but I'm hoping for them to grow out where maybe I'll just try their gel polish and see if that works because this is a more natural salon um, where it does cost a little bit more because their products are more their products are more and um, they're natural more natural than going to other salons if I should say um, so I am definitely a fan of the gel X and I'm going to continue getting the gel X and I know people are just like a hundred dollars that's a lot for your nails but if I don't change my nail color often pretty simple with that and if you do the math four weeks these things last four weeks and that's $25 a week if you went to the nail salon okay and then the time I spent in there if I had to do that every two weeks oh no or every week I don't know if I got time for that mm -mm. nope 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 so it works for me I'll see them in a month Yep. Otherwise, how you guys doing out there? I hope everyone is well. And I just wanted to check in with you right now. I'm going to go to Walmart because I was watching a video today. Even though I vlog, I watch other vloggers that I truly like to watch. Um, I vlogged and I started getting into watching vloggers. Go figure. And um, 
Monroe Steele. I don't watch her stuff often, but I watched hers today and it was really good. She had fashion from Walmart and I'm like, you know I'd be doing my Walmart fashion. So, but it was this jacket from either Free and Simple, I think it was Free and Simple or Scoop. I don't know, I didn't see the name, but I was looking at the tag and uh, it's a jean jacket, like a jean trench coat. And I was like, I know I got the jacket from them because that's what I thought she was about to show. No, she showed this jean jacket, this jean trench coat. I was like, okay, I haven't been to Walmart in a while. I've been staying out of Walmart because of stuff like this. I've never been a Walmart girl for shopping, but oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm gonna go to my Walmart today and I'm gonna see if they have that trench jean coat because it was nice. And I'm hoping they have it here. I don't normally order online. I do, but I don't. If I have to, I will. I'm more of a, I like to pick it up and grab it and go. Cause I'm still waiting on stuff from Timu and it's been over a month. Really? Like, I only got one item out of my order. I need to go back and check and see what else I ordered. It was cheap, don't get me wrong. And normally when you don't spend too much, you don't really worry about the money, but it's principle now, where's my stuff? But um, I'll never order from Timu again, put it that way. Never order from Timu again. I felt like I got ripped off. But we'll see if my stuff comes in. I'll let you guys know, but back to Walmart. Um, I will order this trench coat if I have to go online. I'm sure it's by Scoop or Free Assembly, and I'm going to order that trench coat if I don't walk out here today with it. Now, what else did she pick up? She picked up this skirt that I have in a denim, and hers was more of a like a green color, and then she picked up Jordache jeans, and I'm like, Jordache jeans? I haven't ordered Jordache jeans in so long, but I know I used to wear those back in the days. So I am familiar with Jordache. And then, um, let's see, was it anything? Oh, these boots by Madden Girl. And she said they were cute and comfortable. And I do need a pair of brown boots, but they were on sale for $50. And um, she paid, they were $80, but they were on sale for $50. She paid $50. Okay, one, I could go to Nordstrom Rack and find some um, boots by another designer that I like. I can't even think of the name right now. And pay $50. $80 or so. I know she paid 50 and that's fine, but and I'm sure they're good quality, but I don't want the Madden girls. I want to get, I have Colhan or something like that. I forgot. They are so super comfortable. They are light bright beige, but I do need a dark brown pair of knee high boots. Um, and I'll find something like that at Colhan or at DSW. I may find a nice pair of Vince Camuto or something like that and it'll be $50 to $80 because I will wait till that stuff go on sale. Um, so we will see. But let me go in Walmart. I'm backing up now trying to park and um, I'll let you guys know what I find. I'm not going to bring you in the store because I just want to get in and then get out because it's late and I'm hungry. Um, yeah, I need to eat something. So I'll check back with you shortly. So I had no luck in Walmart and I don't feel like going to another Walmart so I'm just gonna have to go online and look for that jean jacket like trench coat um, I did find a pair of boots I'll show that to you when I get home um, they're by scoop they are black something I needed um, apologize for the Sun it's like whoa like shining like whew. Yeah, you can. Okay. But um, I did get those boots because I do like that style. Um, I don't know what you call the style, but I'll show it to you guys. And they were on sale. Plus, I had a gift card of funds left on there. So I didn't wind up paying much, but like $20 for these boots. And it was worth it because it's a trend. And they're not, we're not for sure if this trend is going to stay around. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it for this look and I kind of want to wear it with a certain outfit that I'm going to be putting together and I was like you know what let's just get the boots they're not the quality that I'm looking for but for the price and for something that I know I'm not going to keep in my closet and wear a lot um, I was like we'll just do it they fit there was the only ones there I guess some people probably buy stuff and return it at the Walmart and because um, I found these Madden girl slides during the summer and they were nice um first time i ever bought a pair of shoes from walmart and that's the second time now boots so we will see but now i'm at chick-fil-a i'm just gonna get some chick-fil-a and then head home and 
probably get dressed for later and go to Cooper's Hawk. I want to do have a glass of wine or a wine tasting. I'm not for sure, but we will see because Friday's there at that place. It is packed and um, I'm not doing that. So let's see if Chick-fil-A got my order right. They be messing up too, pissing me off. I get home and then stuff not in the bag. Okay, Hello for Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, you'll be inside a little. Oh, I forgot. I got a pack. <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay, hold on. I got a call coming in. I got four <laughs> well, one, I got a scan. Oh, but here you go. Thanks. Thank you. And I'm not doing Apple Pay today, so I have to give you a card. Where's that card? Where's the hubby's card? Uh, I'll use Apple Pay. Oh, okay. <laughs> pack the pack. Did that work? Do I have to go like? Yeah. Let me. Yeah. You may have to stick that thing in there. I don't know. What was it? You may have to put it inside. I don't know. Did it work? I got it. Oh, it worked. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, great. Thank you. And do I have everything? Do I have my fork? Oh, I don't have my fork. Okay. Yeah. See, I told you. Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. No All right. Told you. They left my fork. I need my fork. Whew. I totally forgot I had to pay. You know I've lost my mind. I'm so used to doing Apple Pay. Um, this wallet is a hot mess. I, look at that. I need to organize that. That's that's ridiculous. Let's <clears throat> put that in the purse. I am famished. I am so famished. I had a bar today and coffee, and then I had another coffee. And I know around this time I get hungry. And um, so I'm just gonna head home and eat my Chick-fil-A. I'll show you guys the boots. I'll show you my OOTD. And then we'll figure out what my OOTN will be, outfit for the night. I decided to start eating. I couldn't wait, but these nuggets, ugh, they are so salty. I've never had salty nuggets from Chick-fil-A. Oh my gosh, it's kind of disgusting. I normally don't like their nuggets, but that's my only go-to fast food restaurant, to be honest with you guys. It's hard to go other places, and I treat myself once a year to filet fish with french fries from McDonald's. That's it, once a year. But for the most part, I go to Chick-fil-A and don't even like their chicken. I'll get, the chicken sandwich is okay, but their chicken, you know, chicken nuggets, whatever you want to call them, mm -mm. nope. Sometimes they undercook, mushy, I don't know. Sometimes they overcook. I like when they're overcooked. Sometimes what I'll do is just take them home and fry them. Um, but I'm not fry them. <laughs> I don't fry food like that. I'll put them in the microwave to like cook them, just nuke them a little longer. Um, but mm -mm. nope, I'm not a Chick-fil-A fan. And their fries, their kale salad, I like that. And their brownie, I like that. Their Sun Joy, I like that, but um, these half undone, but now salty chicken nuggets, they get butter birds. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run into Wegmans. I forgot, I gotta finish up with dinner tonight. I need a protein, so I'm gonna go get that and um, make it real easy for dinner. I know I'm turning, I don't care. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I asked for the fork. All right, let me finish eating. Go get these groceries. Well, not groceries because that would have been Instacart. I'm just picking up one thing, which is protein. I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm just going to pick up one thing for dinner. I already have the rice. I already have the broccoli. I just got to start that when I get home. So I'm thinking about crab cakes, but um, I may see something or haddock or something like that. I may see something when I go in there. That's it.
for dinner tonight. Jam and cakes. That's what we're doing. All right, guys, so let me just show you the boots that I picked up from Walmart, uh, the scoop boots. I didn't mind getting them because it is scoop and I've been getting stuff from the designer. Oh, I just picked this little black shirt up from Walmart. Um, something to throw on with some sweatpants or under something when I want to layer. It was $5. I, they have more colors, but I didn't want a bunch of colors. I just needed that one. Always need a black one because they get faded out. But these are the boots. Right here. See the boots. Only thing with the boots, these are scooped. They're size eight, so they're true to size. I'm an eight. I don't like when I zipped it up. This part right in here comes in when you zip it, and so it goes out like that. Um, but for the most part, I knew I didn't want to spend too much money on these because I didn't know if I was going to stick with these or really like these. So on sale, I figured I might as well just get them in my size. It was a sign. Yeah, it was a sign. Get them. It's going to go good with the outfit that I'm going to put together for this weekend if I decide to wear that outfit. Um, now that I know I'm wearing boots, I may not even take the time to get my toenails polished tomorrow. They are polished, but I wanted to change the color. I may not even do that. Just to get my eyebrows done. And kind of chill out until it's time to go out to dinner. But right now, I'm going to start dinner and um, so they can eat. And then I'm going to get dressed so I can go out and drink some wine. So that's what I'm doing. See y'all in a bit. Okay, so here is my outfit of the night. Just gonna go get some wine from Cooper's Hawk. I have on black boots. I'm gonna get my black coat, my black, you know what? I'm actually just gonna throw this on because I'm gonna get out the car and I wanna be comfy in there. I really don't want to wear heels, but with this skirt, I need to wear heels. Um, so I'm gonna throw this on to be super comfy in there. Actually, I have a thicker one from Banana Republic and I don't have a necklace on, OMG. I forgot to put a necklace on. I gotta go grab a necklace and that will be it. That is my outfit, nice and comfy. I guess this is, yeah, this is comfy. Just to sit there, drink some wine and edit. That's, I should have my coat. 
No, I'm gonna keep this on. I'll go grab, oh, you can see my bra. Oh, I don't like that. That's the shirt I just got today from Walmart for $5. I think I'm overthinking this because I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to grab a necklace and then head out the door. So today, um, I kind of just got up, took a shower, got it real quick. I didn't have like my normal coffee routine and stuff like that. I had to go run some errands. I need to go get my eyebrows done and um, I need to finish doing this video. Um, and I got to run a Target. So for right now, I'm going to focus on going to go get my eyebrows done, going to get my smoothie, going to Target. And um, that's it. But this morning, I wanted to tell you guys, like, I woke up with a little zit. See? Like a zit on my nose. And you were like, okay, it's a zit. But I don't, I never had acne. Growing up as a teenager, I never had acne. And then this bump right here, I'm like, what is going on? It's like acne in your 50s. <laughs> so I will definitely have to get a facial soon or head to the dermatologist if this keeps up. But um, I was just surprised, like, where, where did this come from? Like, what is going on here? And it kind of hurts. I don't know if I'm to pop it or not to pop it. I'm gonna call my girlfriend and ask her. She's an esthetician and she does facials. I wanna find out, like, do I pop this? What, what do I do for this? Do I get some type of pimple thing and put it on there? I don't know, because like I said, I was fortunate enough not to have acne, so. And I gotta go out tonight, so hopefully I'm not going out with them white head, I guess, white head bump on my nose. I don't know, I don't know. I know I'm not stressed, or maybe I am and just don't realize it. <laughs> I am stressed because my house is not a mess, but to me it's messy. If something's not organized, I know that could be an issue. Like I have these clothes down here you probably don't see, but let me show you guys. I got those clothes over there. My chair and everything is not put away where it belongs. Yeah, my chair, everything is not put away, like I was saying, where it belongs. And this new stand that I have is awesome because it's magnetic, but it's shaking. So I hope you guys don't see this camera shaking, whatever. But I'm gonna get my day started because I wanted to be out at 10, really like 9.30. So I'm about an hour late getting my day started. So I just have on this today, um, let me take off my slippers. I have on this black outfit here, North Face pants. They're nice, they have the pockets here. And um, this North Face zip up here. Now, one thing I will point out regarding North Face, if you can to save money, like this, the shirt I probably got from TJ Maxx or something like that. And I cannot find this shirt again. I love the shirt. Like I will pay full price for this shirt if I was to find it the sleeves here I love it I've had it for many years North Face great quality but pants these pants here are from the kids department yeah I got these from the kids department a couple of years ago and they're size the largest size I actually could have sized down one from whatever the largest size is in kids and um, I got them from Dick's yeah, and I saved myself some money. So if you are about my size and height and you could go to the kids department, assuming they have what you're looking for, because I've looked since then and they had some stuff with print on it that I was just not interested in. But North Face, see you have all this space here. Yeah. So that's it, that's my outfit of the day. I'm gonna throw on my North Face vest here. It's a little chilly, about 53 degrees out here. And I'm gonna, I'm being lazy. I'm just gonna throw these Louis Vuitton sneakers on. I normally don't wear these to run around in, 
Um, I do sometimes, but not often. I just would really throw on some other sneakers, but I don't feel like getting them. Um, so I'm just gonna throw these on and that will be my look for the day. Um, yeah, that's it. I need to wake up. I need more coffee because like I said, I really didn't have coffee, like a full cup of coffee and I wasn't able to relax like I do normally. Um, and I apologize if I'm talking a certain way because these braces are stressing me out because they just rub in and yeah, it's just hard to talk. But the good news is they come off next month. The braces are off. The teeth are all straight down at the bottom. Um, and I just have the Invisalign at the top. And I'm about done with that thing too, but whatever, we'll see. I, have, I apparently have some more time to go with that. So I hope everyone's doing good out there. I'm gonna go get my smoothie. I decided I'm gonna stop and get a car wash because my car is disgustingly dirty. Um, yeah. Mm hmm that's what's going on. I just want clean up also. I don't want too much taken off. I don't want it thin or anything or short. I got to put the car in car wash mode into car wash. I Okay. Honestly, I don't get car washes because I, I'm scared to go through certain car washes. The car wash where you have to put your car in neutral and it, your tire goes on this um, rotating conveyor belt. Like right now he's calling me. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Letter because he's bringing that car, it's gonna get into my car. I can't tell, and then I know, like, like I don't see my tire. I hope this is right. Oh, jeez, I don't know how to put it in neutral. I got hyperventilate. I normally prefer for my husband um, to do this for me, but. He's telling me that way. Okay, like okay. So so far we're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh shoot! Car wash mode. What? Ah, oh, wait a minute. Okay. What? Well, okay. Car wash mode into car wash mode. How do I put this thing in neutral? Fold mirrors. Automatic cars enable free roll. Okay, and oh, did it. okay, that's new. They did not have that button before with automatic car wash enable free roll. So it just put the car in neutral for you. Before I had to put the car in neutral, and sometimes it didn't go in neutral, it'd be reverse drive. So we're good. Everything is in car wash mode. Let me show you guys. See, everything is there. That's that new button right there free roll enable um, and then when I finish I'll do exit um, okay
shouldn't be doing this. My husband should be doing this. He used to do it all the time, but I know he's busy, so I don't mind. It's right down the street. And I do like to go with the girls and take them. They like going through the car wash. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. Oh. But some things, I'm not going to complain because I have a good. My husband will definitely do this for me if he needed to. I wanted him to. So I'm not complaining. But yeah, as far as putting gas in a car, which I don't have to worry about that anymore, I feel that the man should put the gas in the car. As far as getting the car washed and detailed and clean, the man should take care of that for the woman. That's just how I feel. <laughs> I know you guys probably say, oh, you I agree with me or you don't agree with me. I just grew up in a certain time frame where like my father, he would do a lot of those things for me and for his wife. And um, I just think it's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're cooking, cleaning, even though I have house cleaners, but when they're not there, I still tidy up, even though my husband tidies up. Not all men do, but he does. Um, you know, so there are some out there who clean up after themselves or just proactive and clean the house. Um, but the house is never dirty like that. Like I said, we have the cleaners that come, and then the mid midweek and stuff like that, I tidy up. Like right now, I'm already stressing that the house not organized because of my clothes being in the family room on that rack, on the banister upstairs, um, where else? In the bed and the guest room, which is technically my closet slash Jay's room. So yeah, I got clothes all over. It's ridiculous, but I'm going to, I got a plan for that. So I'm not gonna stress out, you know, eventually that plan will come to fruition. Um, yeah, so got my eyebrows done, got my smoothie, got my car washed. Now we're gonna head over to Target.
Okay stuff in Target. It wasn't too much where I was like, I saw that silver sweater wasn't in my size. It was a large. If it was a medium, I would have definitely bought that sweater. Um, but it wasn't. And then that dress with the white, I think in black, no, the black with the white at the bottom. I wanted that, but that was an extra large. They didn't have any other sizes. That dress was super cute. I would have got that. Um, otherwise, I went into Target. You go into Target and you were like, why did I come to Target? What did I come here for? Well, I think I just went there for some stockings or tights. And maybe get some toilet tissue. But that was it. I don't think I wanted anything else. But I totally forgot when I got in there. You're so busy looking at everything else. You're like, oh, this is cool. This is cool. And then you forget what you came, what the mission was. <laughs> get tights, stockings, hosiery, whatever you want to call them. But like I said, I swear it was something else. Another reason why I went, was supposed to go to Target. Um, so I am going to now head back home. There's nothing else for me to do out in these streets. So I'm going to head home. And um, just start straightening up, putting some clothes away, figuring out what I'm going to wear tonight. Because I'm not for sure what mood I'm in or what mood I'll be in in the next couple of hours. Um, thinking of wearing this black dress with my thigh high boots, I think that would look really cute. But um, I've had that dress for a couple of years now, and I'm like, you got all these new clothes in your closet, wear something different. Hmm, I just don't know. I'm gonna go home and figure it out, but that is pretty much it. We'll figure it out and do something with my hair, makeup, and figure that out for later, too. Um, yeah, and if I wear makeup, well, I have to wear makeup probably with this bump on my nose. Like, I wonder if I can see. Oh, yeah, I still see it. That's disgusting. So, yeah, I'll probably try to cover that up with makeup. I will definitely be putting makeup on. Yeah, definitely. This is crazy in your 50s with acne but the body's always changing I'm sure it won't come back well I mean, I'm not for sure but I'm just going to handle it accordingly and make sure I take care of my skin and that is pretty much it Tell me, girl, what's up? Tell me, can I cater to you on days you ain't doing nothing? With no high school, but I'ma treat you like my favorite subject. And if I ever do hey, you wrong, you better yeah. come correct me. A it. closed mouth don't get fed, then we rockin' heavy. Rockin you want a soldier in the field, well, I could be that baby. Be that Just baby. hold me down, don't hold me back like you was trying to play me. Cause in these streets, you lose trust for people on the daily. And that's the best. I know, I know that you been through a lot. It's an extension of my heart. Of my heart. Circle, no need be involved with words. Let's do the shit that made them bitches one day and compare you. What I'm trying to tell you is that I never fail you. 
was contagious like a drug But yet misleading My candy crush Come wine on me, need your touch You got me <laughs> That's it. The next one will be the garage. Yeah, it's, it's a good hand still. I think I'll so. Oh, for real? I don't know what it is. Don't mind me. Just... Get some bombs from here. Go here. Just do whatever you need to do. Okay. Oh, I saw this part yesterday. I was looking at that. Oh, I looked at that heart one. I do like that one. Mm-hmm. It is stupid. It opens stupid too. I'll tell you that. Yeah, the tote bag. This is nice. I like the color. What's this supposed to look like? They definitely have more. They only had like two of those at the other one where we live. So this is my first time in Sprouts, ever in Sprouts, and they're going to be opening one in my area soon. So 
I wanted to take a look at this one and um, see if I could find that sprout sandwich. Oh my gosh, I heard about it. I heard it was really good. So we'll go check that out guys and see uh, what they have here. So if this is your first time being under sprouts, let me know, but I will take you on the journey. That's a vitamin, you need a vitamin. So we're looking for vitamins. And then you have Probiotics, probiotics is good. So I'm trying to find a good one that's for female and male. Normally I get this one here, but um, I want something that my husband and I could both take versus buy two. That's colon care, ultimate care. Maybe this one will work. I have to look into that one right there. Or this one. Because this one but see, you need it for the immune system is in your digestive area. So I'll figure it out. I'll figure out which one is the best one to get. I mean, they even have it for kids. It's best to get it for kids too. Definitely helps. And you want the refrigerator kind of probiotics. You don't want to get the probiotics that um, are not refrigerated. So when you buy this, make sure you have to take it right home, right take it home right away, or have a, a like a freezer type of lunch bag or something like that for it. Okay, let's check out the coffee. I just got coffee from the other shop. They have peach coffee there, and we have let me show you. They have the peach coffee, and they have the death wish coffee. I suppose it's good. I've never tried that one. Um, oh, the Illy coffee. It's really good. Yeah. But. Matcha green tea with turmeric. That looks really good. Um, those are two good, powerful ingredients, definitely. I'm looking for the loose tea, like, like this gotta be loose. I don't know, not open. Remember, um, red tart cherry, that's something that's good to do, to get. I like to get this, I like to get the, the lock. There you go, that one there. just got done eating a capital burger so now we're just walking the town center and I want to show you guys some stuff this is a cool town center I used to come over here a lot I haven't been here in a while but they may be having their art street art function tomorrow and if so I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you guys
out on a Sunday. I didn't say I was gonna come here at eight. Oh my gosh, look at that bike. That is noise. That's electric. Like, so, what you think? No, I'm not gonna come here at eight in the morning, but I'll wake up and come out here. I'm gonna come out here kind of early, like, whereas before a lot of people, you know? <laughs> Hey guys, so we are back home and um, we were out all day and that was nice because we don't get to spend time together like that um, with his busy schedule during the week and then me doing my work during the week. So we are back in, we're going to, um, we already ate out both times, breakfast and kind of like dinner. So I don't think we're going to cook or anything. So we're just going to hang out on the back deck, look at some movies and just chill out with a glass of wine. Right now, I'm just putting some stuff together. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm putting some stuff away um, that I got from the store. But um, that is it for today. Nothing else is going on. It's been a chill day. Um, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to show you some model homes and um, we may go to... Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see, but um, I am going to do another vlog, spend the day with me, I think, just like a quick 14, 15 minute vlog, uh, spend the day with me. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do, just break it up a little. Um, but let, oh, let me show you what I did get from Target. I'll be right back. Okay, so I showed you all that Future Collective um items that I was trying on the dressing in the dressing room but I did decide to keep this blazer here um, this blazer is nice nice quality um, some of the stuff was okay quality and for instance that coat it was not good quality um, so I would not have gotten it and it wasn't my size and I did like the satin um, on it that was a nice touch but um, so as I was saying I got this blazer um, I'm going to have it tailored. The sleeves are too long. They need to come up about an inch and I'm going to have it tailored where it comes in. This is a medium where it comes in a little bit more at the waist. This one was um, $45. Um, yeah. There's some nice stuff. I'm going to be honest. I like the Janae collection better, but that's just me. Um, but this blazer is really nice. This is something that um, is quality and I didn't mind paying $45 for since I paid 275. I paid, I'm sorry, I didn't mind paying $45 for since I paid like 275 for that Theory blazer, um, which is similar to this color to be honest with you, but it is what it is. I should have seen, I wish I would have seen this one first. Um, then, I got coffee from Mom's Organic. I've never had this coffee before. It's grown by friends, roasted by friends, enjoyed by friends. It's called Rise Up. Yeah, coffee Rise Up, organic espresso coffee. So I'm gonna pour that in my Jura so I can have a fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> So I got a fresh cup of coffee tomorrow. Um, I love the fresh coffee beans. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this is cute. They put this little clamp on here. I don't know why, but I guess that's their little signature. But I like that. And then we went to Nothing But Cake again. And um, I, my husband gets the strawberry and cream. I got the pumpkin spice because that's only in season for a few so I got the pumpkin spice and then let me tell you about this wine so let me tell you about this Coppola wine I was introduced to this Coppola claret about I'm gonna be honest with you about 14 years ago and it was good back then but then as your palate changes and you drink more wine and more expensive wine like Opus One and Camus etc Faust, you name it, your palate changes, right? But I mean, you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on wine to have a glass of wine every day. Um, so you want the bottles that you could keep in your house and just open a bottle, share, you know, often, but at affordable price. This is an affordable price and it's a good wine. Now, let me tell you something first. This year, the 2021 is definitely good i tried a couple of other different years and i stopped drinking it because i didn't like it anymore so wines change each year because it depends on the environment you know it depends on the climate and this wine 
they even have a commercial for it now, which it's a good thing, but then a lot of people know about it, then you can't find it. But this one at Wegmans, $12. Yeah, $12 and some change. You go to, um, where I went to Target, it was $22 or more, I think. But yeah, it's about $22, $24. It's double that. So if you have a Wegmans in your area, check their prices. Um, but check the prices. Um, even in the Sprouts, they had it for $22. And we knew that they sell it for $12.95 at Wegmans. So we was like, you know, we just go pick up a couple of bottles there just to keep in the house on hand. Um, so I introduced it to my girlfriend. She loved it for a while, then she stopped drinking it. But I told her to try the 2020 want and she may like it again um because she likes camus and stuff like that too but this is a nice wine just to have at the house just to open when you're cooking or to use it for cooking um where you don't have to spend too much money and it's a affordable wine so you it's you know sometimes you spend money on wine you're like 12 dollars i'm not buying it that must be cheap no you'll be happy with this one try it let me know in the comments below if you tried it if you're going to try it but it is a good wine i don't know the percentage um let's see all percentage on here is 14.5 percent so 14 let's see if i get you to here 14.5 percent okay year 2021 now the 14.5 percent is not going to change but why do i point that out normally when we buy a wine we look at the alcohol percentage and we go off of that to tell to kind of gauge if it's going to be an okay wine. Um, and this one is 14.5, which is right there at the cutoff where, oh, it's 14.5, it's gonna be okay. Um, now, not always, but that's a, um, a good indication when you're looking for wine, check the percentage. 14.5 and higher, definitely good. Um, but this one, definitely try it. Let me know in the comments. If you like it, come back to this video or just send me a shout out in another video. Uh, but that's it. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of the night with the hubby and I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you guys um, spending a few days with me. Uh, I am the producer of my videos. I edited my videos. So if you want to see something else or you want me to show you other things, let me know in the comments because um, I just want to know, you know, what you guys' feelings are on how you like my videos, how you like the quality, the sound quality, um, the things that I take you guys to see or do. Do you enjoy the videos? But um, I appreciate all my subscribers. I definitely do. Um, and also anyone else that's watching, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe to help support the channel and join my YouTube fam. We will definitely have fun here. Definitely do other things and leave a note in the comments like, hey, Char, uh, you you went to that store can you go back there or something or if you see something let me know if you need more information about it because i may have overlooked it or something just let me know i'm here for you guys and i appreciate y'all for being here for me thank you